There are three different types of formats which an email can be read. You can see I got a new email message and I'm in the body of the message. Come up here, click on the Format Text tab to the Format group, and it's these three. You can see that HTML is highlighted by default. When you hover over it, you can see in the pop-up it says Format this message as Hypertext Markup Language. HTML messages can contain formatting and are compatible with most email readers. So formatting means that if you just type in some text, you can go ahead and I'm going to hold down the Shift key, hit the Home key, and it selects everything from the end where the cursor is flashing to the beginning of that line. Those are some of the fancy tips, tricks, and shortcuts that I go over in my Microsoft Word training videos. In any case, with it highlighted, you can go ahead and right click on it, bring up the mini formatting toolbar, apply some formatting like bold, maybe make the color red, italics, or you can do it up here on the format tab in the font group or on the message tab, the basic text group. You got formatting here as well, but let's go back to the format text tab. And in addition to formatting the text, you know, give it some color, give it some life. Let's go ahead and hit enter several times and then click above it. You can also come up here, click on the insert tab, go to the illustrations group, and you can insert smart art chart shapes, online pictures. Let's do that online. And let's do a Bing search. And let's type in spring, being for spring, hit enter. Oh, these two love birds. Let's go ahead and check those two and click on insert. And there you go. So you can do all that, again, going back to the format text tab, as an HTML message. The other one is rich text. And you can see in the pop-up, it says rich text messages can contain formatting, including pictures, but are only compatible with Microsoft Outlook and Exchange. So if you have somebody that's not using HTML, but they have Outlook and or connected to Exchange, well, you can go ahead and send them basically the same thing down below and get the same formatting options up above on the Format Text tab, as opposed to plain text. Oh, that's so plain. You can see that plain text can be read by everyone, but contains no formatting. You want to see? All righty. Go ahead and click on it, and it says, um, excuse me, we got pictures and formatting. We're going to have to destroy it all. So the text is type in some text, but it's formatted. So when I click continue, pictures will be lost. Click continue, and the formatting gets stripped from the text. Maybe one of the reasons why you want to use plain text is that some firewalls don't consider it as dangerous. Like with images, you can add hyperlinks to, or it seems kind of spammy. So with plain text, if you want to get through to somebody, well, there you go. If you start adding hyperlinks to the plain text, well, then it kind of gets a little bit spammy, but not so much as it would be for HTML or rich text. So by default, every time you create a new email message, it's going to be HTML. If you're like, no, I want it to be plain text or rich text, let's go ahead and close out of here. Or you can stay in here, actually, and just come up here, click on the File tab. Okay, it minimized. Let me go back and bring it back up. Click on it to restore it. There we go, we're backstage. So I clicked on the File tab. It took me backstage in the message. Then I can go down to Options, and it takes me right to the Mail tab because I'm in the email message, as you can see behind me. And on the Mail tab, you can see right here, Compose Messages in this format, HTML, or, you know, you don't have to be in here. You can just go ahead and close out and just be in the Mail folder view in Outlook and come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Options. And because we're not in a message, it doesn't take us to the Mail tab. It's a general tab. So go ahead and select Mail. And then there you go, compose messages in this format, HTML. If you want to be plain, already, go ahead and select it. Click OK. So when I double click in a blank area, I don't get any of the formatting options because plain text does not accept it. And you can see, well, let me come down below. When I click in the body of the message, you can see I don't get any of the formatting options because plain text does not accept it. You can come up here, click on the format text tab, and there you go, plain text. I mean, you can always convert it on the fly. Sounds pretty cool when I say that word, fly. And then you can see down below that you can go ahead and type in text because when you do, you get the commands that are available. You can click on B for bold, I for italics, and formatting commands like that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.